Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to my weekly update. Things continue to move forward uh, at pace in some areas but clearly not in others and the farming unions across the United Kingdom came together this week to really look at the situation with seed potatoes, both imports and exports. The, the gnarly areas, if you like, with our EU relationship are, are struggling to find a pragmatic solution. It's the same, of course, with border control posts for breeding stock. Um, so we continue to, to work hard through our Brussels office as well to engage with member states. Um, pretty clear to me that actually our opposite numbers in Europe are just as keen as, as we are. Um, to solve these problems to mean that we can be trading um, as uh, effectively and efficiently as possible. But seed potatoes um, for those growers here, it's, it's a massive challenge and an enormous frustration for all involved. Um, I just thought I'd touch too on, on NFU and the media. A, a huge amount of the work that we do with the comms team and the press team is about keeping farming at all times newsworthy and in the news. And of course, a lot of that falls to me to, to hopefully do a, a reasonable job in, in representing us. And today at, at lunchtime, I will be on You and Yours with Winifred Robinson talking about effectively by British, why that is so important, um, the opportunities and the challenges of these trade deals. And tonight I will be on any questions down in Chard um, with uh, Jacob Rees-Mogg, Thangham Debonair uh, from the Labour Party and Sarah Olney from the Lib Dems. So if you get the chance, do have a listen in for that. But it, it, those are really important opportunities for us to to get across uh, the positives, the challenges and, and everything that is food and farming. Um, so obviously with the pandemic at the moment, that is putting a lot of pressure on businesses that are employing significant numbers. Um, basically, the spread of infection and the very, very oversensitive app um, is creating challenges. So we are looking um, to try and, and work with government to find those solutions. It's fair to say, I don't think... Uh, anybody in the supply chain is finding quite the engagement with government that we had in the beginning uh, of COVID when we had all those challenges on, on food supply. And of course, government with empty shelves uh, to, to witness was, was very engaged. So this is this is causing a, a lot of problems for many of our members. And we're just keen to, to get it resolved and make sure that when people are double vaccinated, um, that they don't have to isolate. That's going to relieve pressure enormously. I'm sure that conversation will be coming up tonight. And of course, don't forget next week, it's, it's 24 Hours in Farming. That is a, a fantastic initiative run by Farmers Guardian. I was delighted to have them down on, on my farm this week. Um, and we were talking about it, did quite a lot of film footage uh, for, for it next week. And so please, those of you that are on social media, please do engage with 24 Hours in Farming tell your story. It's been very, very powerful and had huge pickup. And as I say, the more we can spread the word, the better. So as ever, please do take care. Um, I can't not comment on the really challenging weather events that we're seeing at the moment. Quite extraordinary yesterday here, it was torrential rain, only 20 miles away, combines were out and, and nobody had any rain in sight. But I'm hearing horrendous stories across the country of hailstorms, of plummeting temperatures and devastating crop losses. So it's been a, a very, very strange year weather-wise. And I just hope as we get into August that things clear up and we can get this harvest done. So many thanks as always for listening and, and do look after yourselves.